Hi, I'm Mario from Emily's Photography, and in this video we are going to have a look at the Rode SmartLav Plus lapel mic from Rode Microphones. Now I get a question fairly often, specifically from people who've watched my Canon PowerShot SX50 and SX60HS camera review. They ask the question, will this camera be good enough to shoot YouTube videos with? Now the camera has got full HD video capabilities and it does a pretty good job as well as with all the other bridge cameras out there they usually can do a pretty good job of the video specifically for someone who's starting a youtube channel the problem is just the audio it's usually terrible it's got a built-in microphone you can't really expect that great sound from it uh, for example if you've got the sx60 you, you've got an external microphone port so you can at least put an external mic in there and get better sound quality like for instance the rode video mic you can plug that in there but if you don't have an external mic port, you're stuck with terrible sound quality. Okay, so hopefully by looking at the SmartLav Plus mic, this will be an option. I've also got an audio recorder. I'm gonna show you what I use for most of my videos. I also use an audio recorder. So both of those options will be a good option or a good choice to go with if you want to shoot videos on a budget and you've got a bridge camera, but you just don't like the terrible sound quality. Both of these options will actually be good. I should have actually renamed the title of this video as options for better quality audio for your bridge camera. Anyway, now before we look at what the sound quality sounds like, the price point of the, of the mic and everything, I'm gonna compare the price between the Rode mic as well as the, you'll notice I've got two lapel mics here. The one microphone is recording my voice now. I'm gonna show the difference between the audio recorder the Rode Smart Lab, as well as my camera audio, and then you can decide. Okay, now I'm not using a Canon PowerShot to shoot the video with, I'm using a Nikon SLR camera. And then I've got, I'm also obviously recording audio from the camera. And then I've got a Tascam DR05 audio recorder. I've had this for a few years now. I've done most of my videos on YouTube. YouTube, I've done with this audio recorder, and it works like a dream. I love this thing, it goes with me everywhere and it's not really that expensive. And then I'm using obviously lapel mic, you'll notice that it's one on this side. If you can see it on the video, I'm not sure. And then yeah, it's the Smart Lab from Rode and it's plugged in directly into my cell phone. Okay, so I'm using an LG G3. It supports iPhone and Android, uh, more iPhone than Android. I'm a bit ticked off by that, I'll explain why, but it works perfectly fine on my Android device. So instead of having an order recorder, your phone becomes your order recorder and that's gonna save you money in the end. Okay, so before we talk about the pros and the cons, let's first look what you get in the box. Now I've already opened a box. I don't always shoot the opening the box videos. <laughs> I usually can't wait to open a box. So yeah, I just rip it open and get my goodies. Anyway, it comes in this little bag. You get the microphone. The microphone looks like the image on the screen now because I'm already wearing the microphone here. And the microphone, I must say, is really nice quality. I like the windshield on there. I've got an aircon running here, so you might pick that up on the mic. I don't know. We'll see when I listen to the recording and I'm processing this video. I'm, we might hear it. I don't know. It's got a fairly good quality windshield on there compared to this cheaper mic I'm using to record this video on. It's an actually not a very expensive. It's a Philips lapel mic I bought for really cheap, but it does the trick. So this one is actually, if I compare the quality, it's much better quality than the mic I've been using for years now. So I, I enjoy the build quality. It always makes me feel better. The thing won't break or just die on me when I'm doing something important. And it comes in this little handy carry bag. Now this handy bag I really enjoy because I know if I've got my mic in here, it's tucked away, I can put it in my camera bag and I know that the mic won't damage or anything. And you can carry it in your pocket, anything like that. If you're walking with your cell phone, you want to have this on you. It's nice and small, it will fit in your pocket. So I really enjoy the bag they gave with it. But that's about all that's in the box, just that bag and then obviously the microphone. Okay, so now let's look at the sound quality. I'm gonna take this Tascam DR05 mic or uh, recorder and I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, so now the sound you're hearing now is coming from my Nikon SLR camera. You'll agree with me, the sound is really terrible. If you're outside and there's lots of wind, your camera will only pick up you're not really gonna hear the your voice of the person you're recording so it's really terrible and my phone is ringing it's on vibrate very uncomfortable <laughs> okay another thing when you're using this uh, uh, the recorder it's a good thing I haven't actually tested it that way I'm thinking of turning it to airplane mode 
so that someone can't call me. I'm not going to get SMSs or WhatsApps while I'm actually recording something. Because if it's maybe an interview or something and it's important, I don't want the phone to start ringing. So if you're using the road mic, I think turning it to airplane mode is actually a good idea. Anyway, so this is what the sound quality sounds like from that. So it's terrible. I'm going to record here again. I'm going to go back to this audio. Now, before we record on the Rode Smart Lab, this is one of the cons that I didn't really enjoy. Uh, the app that you can download, I think it's called Rode Record or Rode Rec. So let's see where that thing is. It's called Rode Rec. You can download it off the Apple Store. I think it's something like five or six dollars for the application. Now, why Rode microphones? Is there not one for Android? So yeah, I don't own any Apple products, so obviously now I have to source something else. Now the microphone has got good quality, but this is where it gets really important. You need to have good software to record it with, otherwise it's gonna sound terrible. So what I've done is I've went out and down, downloaded a bunch of free apps to first see what the sound quality is like. I did a test on them all. I think I did like five or six apps. And then I saw, okay, there was specifically one, I think it's called, I think it's RecForge, I think. Uh, I just wanna see, RecForge 2. And I bought the pro version because it gave me more options than some of the other three stuff, free apps out there. They sometimes clip the audio after maybe two or three minutes. They don't allow you much options. Like for instance, a very important feature that you need, it's called AGC, Auto or Automatic Gain Control. Now, if you don't have the option to turn that on or off, you'll notice when using AGC, uh, that's uh, just a short term for it, you have the problem where it, if something is very soft, it's gonna try and adjust your gain. It makes the microphone more sensitive to pick up the, the, the voice or the sound that's coming from further away. The problem with that is it then distorts the audio and you hear in the audio, it sounds terrible. So usually when I'm using any software or any device, if it's got AGC, AGC turned on, I turn it off to make sure the microphone just record, the program, the app or whatever I'm using, recorder, just record the, 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 the sound as you receive it. Don't try to adjust it at all. So sometimes the app that's free won't have the option to use that. Okay, so I'm gonna open Re uh, Rec Forge 2 and then I'm gonna press record here. Okay, so now it's recording the, the audio. It's actually got a very nice screen. Uh, most probably not gonna be able to see this. I don't think so. But as I'm talking, you can see the levels. It's showing you the levels. And then I'm gonna put this in my pocket because it's something also, a tip I wanna share. When you use an external recorder like this, it's nice when, especially in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to sync the audio. It's good to have a sync point that when you've got that, that levels, I don't know if you can see it in the camera now, but that levels, that's showing you the volume as it's recording. When you see a very large peak in there, you can use that peak to sync the audio together. So if you've got a clapper, like they've got in the movies, you can use that. Otherwise, a very uh, uh, affordable option, just clap your hands. So just say, okay, the audio is now syncing, yeah, and you go like that. Now it's gonna pick up that extreme pitch in the audio, and when I've got that in Premiere, I can just align those two, and then I can set the audio perfectly fine. You'll see that when we shoot the next video. That's how you get the audio in sync because the camera and the phone is not plugged in together. You need to sync it manually, but it's a very easy thing to do. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so that's the sound quality of this now being recorded on my G3 with um, Rec Forge 2. Okay, now I also tested, I'm gonna turn this one off. I also tested a bunch of other programs, like I said, tried them. There were some of them that the sound quality was so bad it was like, oh, delete, and then, so just test a few apps. If you're going to buy this mic, just test a few apps. Don't just go on the first app and say, oh, this is terrible, send it back. Do a little homework. Download a few apps, see which one you like the best. But that was the sound quality. If you like that, then that will be perfectly fine for your next YouTube project. Okay, so how does the price difference go between the two mics? Okay, so if you've got, if you want to have a Tascam DR05 like this, I googled it, it was I think around 85 to about 100 or just over $100 just for the recorder. And you're still going to need to buy the microphone as well, it can be anything from 10 to 20 $30 for a proper lapel mic. So you're looking at anything from say 100 to $130 to have a recorder like this, there's also the H, 
H1 Zoom, H Zoom 1, H1 Zoom, I think. Yeah, can't remember the name of that one. And it's also a very nice recorder, budget recorder. Um, so something like that, a lapel mic, anything from say 90 odd up dollars, you can have that recorder. Now the Smart Lab, I got it for a steal of a deal. I think it's a term I'm gonna use. I got it for a really good price and that's why I bought it. So that I can bring it in as a second microphone. Sometimes I've got this mic on someone. I might want to have a second mic on the second person if there's now an, a two people in maybe an interview and I can have one recording on my phone and other one recording on here. And I saved a lot of money that way because I got it for like half of the price that, that it's now selling online. So you can get it from $79 upwards. I, I googled on Amazon and a few of other websites. It was around about say $79, just below $80 for the SmartLav Plus. So it's not that bad considering the sound quality you get to help you improve the quality of your videos. So that's about that for this. I think I covered it. Oh, the, the, pro, the pros and the cons. Um, the only thing I didn't like was that they didn't have software for Android. How tricky can that be to just get developers? Please make software for Android people out there. I think it's like five or six dollars on Apple. I would gladly buy it if it was available. So I don't know what's up with them on that because it's not a brand new microphone. It's been out a while, I think. So why haven't they released software for it? And then another thing I didn't include in the box is I can't plug this microphone into my Tascam. It's got on the microphone, I think you need an SC3 cable, I think it's called, and it's $15 extra for the cable. Uh, so that cable converts those three lines that's on the, the plug that goes into your phone, it converts that to the normal fitting that will plug into your audio recorder. So if I plug it in, it won't work, I will need to put in an extra cable. Why not add that into the box? when it been that bad? Come on, give us some, nice cables don't make us pay extra for it after only not releasing the software we need for our android devices okay so that's about it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it and maybe found the microphone or the option it can be either a, a digital recorder or the smart lab so in the next video we are going to sync the audio together from both devices as well as the camera so i can show you on uh, Adobe's Premiere, what the sound looks like and how to get everything in order there. But that's all for this video and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe. Bye.